Hi everyone, Waterfields1 here and you know I love a good concept design. I especially love a good PlayStation 5 concept design. It's not about the views, it's just not about the views. Anyway, thank you to our German friends at Turn On. They have delivered a rather short concept video for the PlayStation 5, which somehow someone out there on Turn On has dragged out to eight minutes in length. So the features of this new PlayStation 5 concept design are as follows. Wireless charging, 100% will be a feature in my opinion. Now mobile phones have smashed wireless charging. It works great. Wireless charge pads or portals or whatever you wanna call them are cheap as chips and I imagine the PS5 controller will require a similar level of charge to a low level smartphone so it makes sense for that tech to just move over to the console in my opinion I mean convenience technological advancement and just a pretty cool feature for Sony to brag about for me means wireless charging should be a part of the PlayStation 5 so yeah wireless charging big tick of approval from me an LCD screen on the controller now this seems to be a bit of a trend in all PS5 concepts I mean I get the fact that it's impressive but for me it just seems like a pretty useless feature I mean I can't think about anything that is going to add to the immersion of gaming by having a small LCD screen embedded into the controller itself. I mean, all I can think about is how much power having that screen on your controller will absorb. It's gonna kill the battery life. And I don't think game controllers are in a place where they can afford the battery power to power a full color touchscreen LCD. I mean, for the record, now I, I appreciate smartphones do a good job battery wise, but a smartphone costs 200 plus, whereas a controller needs to sit in the 40 to 60 price bracket. So for me, a screen on the controller is a big no-no. Backwards compatibility with all PlayStation games and consoles. Now this is an absolute dream for any PlayStation fan, but unfortunately, it's an unrealistic one. The truth is, as consumers, if we really want to play a PlayStation 1, a PlayStation 2, or a PlayStation 3 game, we will buy it again. It's only the outstanding titles that have lasted time, basically. They've lasted time, and we'll buy it again, and we'll buy it again, and again, and again. Hence, Sony and all the big game developers remastering old games, because they know we, as consumers, are all mugs who will part with our cash too three, four times, but actually just received almost the exact same product. However, I do think Sony need to ensure the PlayStation 5 does have backwards compatibility for PlayStation 4 software. I think that's important. Entire PlayStation library support, no, 100%. PS4 software should be supported on the PlayStation 5. Now, again, from a technological aspect, I can't think of one logical reason as to why the PlayStation 5 won't be able to support PlayStation 4 tech. It, it just should. It should just be a standard thing. So, yes, for me, backwards compatibility for the PlayStation 4, but I do think asking for the PS1, PS2, and PS3 is a step too far. Finally, let's just assess the look of this concept. I like it a lot. I would be very, very happy to have this unit sat in my lounge. It's sleek, modern, simple, pretty much everything I want from my gaming console. I want it to blend in, but I want it to look cool. And I think this hits the nail on the head in my opinion. Now, of course, the PS4 was all about sharp angles and looking sleek at launch. So I do think Sony are gonna look at a softer, curvier approach to this generation of console. And of course, the ventilation on this concept is a direct, I guess, reflection of the dev kit images, which have been widely leaked across the internet. And again, it looks cool, that gives it just a little bit of a modern look to it. I like the ventilation style. Again, big tick of approval from me. So there you have it, a brand new concept design from the folks at Turn On from Germany. What do you think? Like it? Hate it? Let me know in the comments section below. If you're new around here and you want to stay up to date with everything PlayStation 5, 
then be sure to subscribe and of course turn notifications on. Feel free to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I am Waterfields1. This has been a brand new PlayStation 5 concept design. See you later.